Hi, I'm Sarah Davis, Director of Client Services at the Brain Injury Foundation of St. Louis. And I wanted to talk just for a moment about return to work um, for professionals. So obviously one thing people with brain injury have in common is that they were all living their life and minding their own business and something happened um, that interrupted family life, goals, um, career, all of those things. And I see my job and my role in helping people return to work as getting some of those things back. Um, you know, sometimes people don't need a lot of help. Sometimes they just need some strategies and some support, figuring out how to talk to their employer, figuring out what their rights are, figuring out how to um, assess their own strengths and barriers once they walk back into the workplace. And, and sometimes they need a lot more from me. Sometimes um, I talk with employers if my clients want me to, um, kind of educate them on uh, brain injury, how things have changed. Sometimes I make um, assessments for getting people the right kind of equipment so that they can um, use computers or, or any other kind of equipment with changed physical and cognitive abilities. Um, there's a lot of strategies out there that would allow people to go back to doing what they were doing before that, uh, that people don't even know exists. Um, and then another really important part of return to work is figuring out benefits. Um, a lot of folks are getting short-term disability, long-term disability. Some are getting social security disability. Um, asking questions about FMLA, what happens after 12 weeks? Because I think we all know you can't recover from a brain injury in just 12 weeks. Um, we believe recovery happens across a lifetime, but for some people, 12 weeks isn't long enough. We need more. Um, how, do, how do I figure out uh, how do I figure out what my leave of absence is, how long I have to recover, how I'm going to get paid, how I'm going to pay my bills, all of those things. And um, so and I have training as a benefits um, in, in advising people about their social security benefits and a lot of experience working with uh, disability insurance companies uh, to help preserve those. And then finally, figuring out what are going to be the parameters of getting back to work. What is that release to work letter going to look like from the doctor? Um, what should it include? What shouldn't it include? And uh, how, how are you going to return to work successfully? Um, how are you going to do it? Um, you know, because the, so many things have changed. There's so many uncertainties. I tell all of my clients, um, and I've been doing this a long time, but I tell my clients there's no risk-free way to do this but I honor your courage in, in trying to get back to work. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, and uh, most of the time we're very successful in getting people back to work after a brain injury. Um, occasionally it means figuring out and, and uh, carving out specific uh, job duties where your strengths lie, um, but often it means we can get back you back to doing exactly what you were doing um, prior to your brain injury. So um, if you are a person who's had a brain injury and interested in getting back to work, um, either exactly the same or close to the same industry, I would love to talk with you more about that. So um, give our office a call and we can talk about what that process is. Thanks.